It is well known that hypokalemia worsens the effect of both congenital and drug-induced long QT syndrome. We'll check out how this occurs. Hypokalemia is an important and common risk factor in drug-induced LQTS. Low extracellular potassium paradoxically reduces IKR, the rapid component of delayed rectifier potassium current, by enhanced inactivation. As a result, hypokalemia prolongs the QT interval. Lowering extracellular potassium ion concentration accelerates the internalization and degradation of IKR channel. IKR channel mediated by the KCNS2 gene is controlled by extracellular potassium concentration. Exaggerated competitive block by sodium can also contribute. There is no change in KV1.5 ultra rapid delayed rectifier potassium current with a decreased extracellular potassium concentration. At the same time, a modest reduction, 30%, in KVLQT1, the slow component of delayed rectifier potassium current was noted.